Hey there, sports fans. Robo here for Caraval Gaming. I'm very much tempted to play another class I don't normally play, just because I'm doing so well. Yeah. Well, let, let's see what we get off a day. Oh, look at that. My three favourite classes. How lucky! Now none of you can p complain when I pick a class that I like playing. Mmm. Sexy times. Well, let's look at Warrior and Shaman, shall we? Yeah, I played a fair chunk of Warrior, level 31. Or oh, Shaman. 28? 28 for Shammy, so yeah, I guess. I guess we can play some Shammy. That is wow. A warrior is tempting though. For Doom Ooh -hoo -hoo! My favourite card right off the top of the bat there. I do like some feral spirit. I think he's awesome fun. Now, Shaman has a lot of overload going on about it, so where is Silver Moon Guardian is is clearly awesome. You should always consider like the the cheaper options as well, um, especially when you look at stuff like Flame Tongue Totem, which works really well with minions who make more minions, I guess. Obviously, there's a downside to the Murloc Tide Hunter. You know, it's only a 2 1. So it does die quite quickly to a lot of things. Chew and Yeti doesn't die to a lot of things, it dies to very little things. Ancestral Spirit's okay in the right hands. Um, you know, if you think about it with the Chill Win Yeti, it's like bash. Back it comes. Manatai Totem's also okay. Like, as long as you can get it to stick in play for a turn, you get to draw two off it, which... then has the potential to go crazy. Mm, tough between the Spirit and the Manatai Totem. Really is tough. Obviously, <laughs> you know, Crazed Alchemist um, is okay, but... I'll go with the Manatai Totem there. And happy enough with the Bloodsail Raider there. Um, Earthshock's definitely worth considering. But... It's got to be the walk in here. Ooh, fire elemental. He, th this is like you always pick these cards. It's just incredible. Easy spell breaker. So we're just taking the best card on offer every time here. <laughs> well, we've been offered two terrible cards. And, and one uh, amazing card, so yeah, you know, yeah, I'll take the amazing card. Um, there are situations where Flesh Eating Ghoul gets incredibly big, but we can't guarantee that, so I'll just go and take the Hunter there. We need lots more 1 and 2 drops now, we have to focus on picking up these early cards here. And we're not getting them, so I'm going to take the Knight. And now we have to take the Murloc Tide Hunter. Oh, Shatter Sun Cleric, don't mind if I do. And another Fire Elemental, this is turning out to be quite expensive. No spells here, no lightning bolts and stuff like that. And another Fire Elemental, what is this? If I survive the early game, I will be in Awesomeville. I want to take this fairy dragon, but Hex is too good. Oh, this, this deck's so expensive! 
So expensive! I think I have to take the pint size, but... Injured Blade Master? No, I gotta take the Blade Master. Yep, some cheap cards now. Let's pile up on these cheap cards. <laughs> I don't like Dust Devil. <laughs> You can't make me take it. And I have to take the lightning bolt here over the Shattered Sun Cleric. Don't I? Yes, I do. <laughs> yep, just gotta take these cheap cards. Wow. Help! <laughs> I guess it buys me a little bit more time. I mean, it's not so bad because we at least we can make some totems, right? Yeah. Mm. Yep, just have to take the cheap cards. <laughs> That's a... Bad, bad last pick there. Murloc, Murloc, or Secret Keeper. So lots of powerful cards in my deck, it's just that everything costs three mana. You know, just one wasn't offered any minions that cost two mana. So I'd actually prefer to go second in quite a few games here, because on turn two I can coin into a three drop. For Doomhammer. Maybe we even throw this back as well, to be honest. Because we've got so many three mana guys. We didn't get any weapons, which is sad times. May my wow, really? Was, uh, since you're a day of a good play? I'm kind of forced to disagree. So, uh, like, coining this out is obviously awful. Um because he shapeshifts, kills the 2-1, attacks the 1-1 and enrages his guy. And then I'm left with like a 5-2 I can't do anything about. I really don't want to enrage that guy without being able to deal with it. Hmm. What to do? There really is no good play here at all for me. Um, I'm just looking at when we can get some value out of this coin, really. So, I'd rather do this here, because he's going to attack it with his guy. Well, hopefully. I mean, he should. Um, and it just stops it from enraging. Whereas if I make this, then obviously he gets to enrage. Like, until I have an answer for that 2-3. Oh, <laughs> all these cards and just... Nothing to do with it. Help! This is beyond horrible. Really, really ugly. I'm just going to try and get closer to the cards that are actually useful for me. Particularly that little lightning 
spell. There's literally nothing <laughs> I want to see here. This is just horrible from start to finish. And no real surprise that I'm going to lose from this situation. He's wasted his turn by making a 1-3 there. Gives me the faintest of hopes I can get back into the game. Please don't have a swipe. What to do? Of course. Of course. And that is game. That's his game. No way back in from here for me. <laughs> and that's a concede. Uh, terrible lands. Just absolutely awful. Yeah. Play eight cards in my hand. Can't play any of them. <laughs> like, I've got a... Punch of one, Matt. Look at this. You know, <laughs> these were the cards we wanted to see. Nowhere to be seen. I told you this deck was too expensive, and you know it wasn't my fault. We just didn't get anything for two mana. Everything that turned up just said three mana on it. Three, three, three. Uther. I will fight with honor. For Doomhammer. Wow. Would have liked these cards last turn. Last game, even. Like, me being able to zap that 2-3 right at the start of the game would have allowed me to play all my other stuff out. Um, it's important to have a minion out on the board against pallies, you know? I don't want to use this lightning bolt, because... Reporting it means I can't play the Shattered Sun Cleric the turn after. Obviously I was hoping for the healing totem there. We must cleanse the Sunwell. This is a pretty, pretty cool start here. Just keep it up with the <laughs> feral spirits here, really. I'll never tell. Oh. 
forward. Maybe we can get a really big frost wolf warlord out. Look at this pally with his eight cards, he's doing what I did last game. Reporting for duty. See, get to kill two of my guys and make a one one. Still can't make this healing totem. It is sad times indeed. But there's no way I'm letting him start the turn with a minion in play, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to keep the that side of the board clear. Fortunately for him, I have silences, so... Even so, I mean, I can just attack it with a 1-1. One, one. I'm not even sure I want to waste a silence on that, do I? I wonder... I mean, I guess we can. Yeah, because we're not really wasting a silence on it, we're just putting another minion on the board. Right? Your magic shall not save you. Oops, that was a mistake. Watch me make the spell power totem now. No. <laughs> yeah, if it had made a spell power totem, obviously, then I would have shot it for four and it could have attacked with the 1 1 instead of the 3 1. Put your faith in the light. Well, yeah, it's pretty cool. Don't think it really helps him here. <laughs> you can't really attack with his weapon. You know, you can take out my naught too, that's about it. I'm ready. I'm not ready. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. You're dead then. Why is she not conceded? <laughs> So, because we can see see the, see these Argent Protectors he's got in his hand, he should just be playing them out. Like, he was trying to get value out of them. It's like, unless I can put a bubble on something, I'm not going to play it. And I just killed everything he did every turn, so he just kept passing the turn. It's like, just pull a 2-2 two -two out. Just play a 2-2. Two -two. It, it beats for two. He said he was just putting out 1-1s one every turn. I was like, yep. More than happy to keep killing them. Thrall versus 
Malfurion. I must protect the wild. For Doomhammer. I'm keeping a lightning bolt. It's not great on the play. Very often it stops you from doing something the turn after, but the rest of my deck's just so expensive <laughs> that, that I can't really afford to get rid of it. Hopefully my opponent doesn't have a play this turn. Yay! I'm so happy! So now we want to make any totem other than the 1-1 one, one totem. So of course we make the 1-1 one, one totem. <sighs> of course, and that's why. And that is why. Because he can shapeshift and kill the 1-1 one, one totem and do all manner of things, whereas the 0-2 is just that little bit more awkward. Awesome. Hmm. Quite good, quite good. Well, next turn we'll have 4 mana. I think we need to play the fire elemental next turn, don't we? Hmm. Pretty sure that's the correct play here. <laughs> I have so much just value in my hand at this point. I must safeguard the light. Wow. I'm not sure I can lose from here. This fire Elemental is so ridiculous! 6 for a 6-5, which is absolutely fine, and you get to shoot something for 3 as well. Like my invention. That, that turn was just nasty from him. Yeah, I guess I'll just destroy you then. <sighs> insane. Absolutely insane. Wow, not killing the 6 1? Why, why, why would that? See, that's a mistake because I, I'm going to hit him for 6 anyway. He's taking that 6 damage whether he likes it or not. So, you know, obviously he should just. Kill my 6 1. We must cleanse the Sunwell. <laughs> oh dear, dear, so ridiculous. Like, that's nice. Still have a 7 1. You need another swipe. <laughs> Gene, just to make it even more ridiculous. Elements guide me. Elements guide 
I'll just show him even more of my crazy cards. So yeah, I like I have to my three losses today will be from not surviving the early game. And it turns out my mid game and late game are pretty damn good. So anyone who has a fast deck against me is just going to crush me. But as soon as I get to six mana if I have like a couple of elementals in my hand, I can't see myself losing from there. So this could be a problem. Your soul shall be mine <laughs> for Doomhammer. Hmm. <sighs> a little bit ropey star. My opponent pretty much kept his entire hand there, which doesn't bode well for me. Greet you. Greetings, I feel like he's got to have a one drop, right? Or at least he's definitely coining it to a two drop. But nothing, so... Yeah, I hate that one one totem! Well, I want either, well, any of the other totems. Unless he makes a three two. If he makes a three two this turn, I'm extremely happy. I would be so grateful to my 1 1 totem if he makes a 3 2. I wonder. But we can always give it plus 3, you know. And then summon another totem. So many possibilities. Well, that was nice. Which makes me think he's got uh, a Hellfire, possibly. We must cleanse the Sunwell. But even so, like if he Hellfires here, he's got he's like he's trading one for one because all I've played is a Shattered Sun cleric. Mind if I roll knee? Seems pretty good. I mean, he's definitely not hellfiring here. And he doesn't realize how much pain's coming his way next turn on this flame tongue totem. I might just make a tiger. So I considered making another totem and putting the flame tongue down. And there is that hellfire right on cue. Uh, 
pretty much called that one, right? So I went with this because he can't kill it. You know, I can play this and shoot him for three, and, you know, he can kill it. But this guy... He's pretty close to guaranteed, and I want to get a little bit of value out of this fire elemental by actually shooting something for three. Next turn we can go, like, Hex, Totem. And that guy. I considered, I considered the flame tongue there. I'm like, yeah, the horn totem is very awkward. Earth shock, hit him for eleven. Yep. In fact, play it properly. Hit him for exaxes. <laughs> Ow. That was pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. There were loads of different things I could have done in that game. Uh, I mean, you know, our opponent was playing in such a way that it was just like, yeah, there's got to be a hellfire. The way you're drawing cards there, not doing anything on your first three turns. And he ended up, like, almost two for oneing himself with the hellfire when I made the guy with the bubble on, you know, you know the demon fire and hellfire. Use two cards and, and take three damage. So we're going to keep the fire elemental because the tempo allows us to get back into the game with it. And obviously we're keeping the 2-3 mana guys, because on turn 2 we can coin. Into one, then the other. Someone call for the of course, if he makes another minion here, especially a 3-2, then... <laughs> He's time oh, for a of blood. course he doesn't. <laughs> I was going to say we can fork lightning, right? So we're making this guy because um, he can't shadow word pain it. For the crusade. Awesome draw. Wow. How sexy was that? Hmm? Huh? Pretty damn sexy is how sexy that was. Modest favours. So, I couldn't fork lightning there, because that would have left him with one minion, it would have enraged this, which meant that that would have traded to my 4-3. Um, but the Earth Shock was obviously super awesome. Wow. 
he's just wasted his entire turn as well. So again, this is one of those spots where if I make the shield master, um, he can definitely kill it. But my play next turn would be like three mana and totem, so it's probably fine. You know, just accept that he's gonna shadow word pain it and move on with your life. <laughs> Pretty good. I mean, it's getting hexed, but it is pretty good. <laughs> mm, maybe we beat this guy up first. That seems seems probably mm, yeah seems probably better. Oh, okay. No, we can do we can do that. That works. So we're not doing any of these things next turn, which is sad, but... We can still make totems, we always have something to do. Is someone injured? Well, sure would like another silence. I know they're in there. <laughs> Don't! I've got a huge gun. If he was smart, he could have played in such a way that uh, he draws lots of cards off my healing totem there when all my minions seal up. Yeah, I wish I had a cult master.
And he, he does get to draw some cards this turn, which is very awkward. But, sad times. But I feel if I can just put so much out there that it's completely irrelevant that he's drawing these cards. I must consider. Could set up a play next turn where like he draws seven cards. <laughs> Office North Chicleric. For the crusade! Glory to the Sindori. Your magic shall not save you. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. 6, 12. 14, 15. 17, 19 damage. This turn. Of course, I get to do this as well. Oh, I really wish the minions wouldn't flip around like that. I'm done. I'm pretty happy with how that turn went. Like Thought Steel really doesn't help him. He already has like a million cards. <laughs> yep, you've lost. Congrats on drawing all those cards. Oh. You have bested. Yep, I have indeed bested you. Pretty sick flame dog totem there. Um so my cards are just incredibly powerful. There's, there's nothing else to say on the matter. You know, he mind controls like one of my dudes, and I still just go, okay, <laughs> that's fine. Turns out if you got loads of those fire elementals, you just crush people. Like I said, all my losses are going to come from getting rushed in the early game. Your soul shall be mine for Doomhammer. Yeah, I'll keep. Um, Silver Moon Guardians actually good against Warlocks because usually it's just a little bit harder for them to deal with. Yes, I passed the turn right. Probably going to get rushed to death here, I think. Nope, he's life tapped. I feel so much happier now.
Please don't have a soul fire, please don't have a soul fire. Like, that's fine. He uses up his turn. Now we could go for a cheeky mana tie totem, but that seems super weak. Now, if he puts a chill wind jetty down there, I have some problems. But he didn't, so. You know, I get to do pretty sick stuff this turn, really. Beat up the two four. Remember, kill for loss. Let's just take him out. You know he's annoying. I'll never tell. We must cleanse the Sunwell. Beautiful. Please attack me. Please. I guess I trade my 3 3 with your 3 3 then. Right? Push forward. <laughs> Remember, kill for loss. Whew. Finally, uh, stopped him beating me up. Feel so much happier now. Yeah, I'm fine throwing these cards into his five-five. Uh, works absolutely <laughs> fine for me. Remember, kill for loss. Do you like my totem? So the cool thing is uh, it replaces itself and very often it, <coughs> you know, it gets a card out of your opponent as well when they, you know, kill it. Yeah, so now he's, he's just lost now. There's really no way back into this game for him. We hope for the spell power. Oh. Sad times.
He's looking for a hellfire. He doesn't find one. <laughs> now, now he just dies horribly. <laughs> Can we pick the ways we're going to crush him here? <coughs> Excuse me. Is he dead? Seven. Eleven. So, yeah, okay. That works. It's always the last thing I consider, like my opponent's health. I, <laughs> I miss on board kills so many times because of that. I'm just like, yeah, I just want to. I just like killing minions. Killing minions is so much fun. And I'm like, wait a minute. Should probably consider his health there. So I really thought I was in trouble there in the early game, but he just didn't put the pressure on. Turn 4 onwards. Um, you know, people say to me, why don't I like Gnomish Engineer? That's why. You know, he makes a 2-4 there. Like, if he makes a 4-4, four, four, or a 5-4, or a 4-5, it hurts. It hurts a lot. But because he makes a 2-4, because he's so obsessed with drawing cards. Um, I end up crushing him. Tempted to keep the fire elementals, just because they're so damn amazing. Like, I rarely think that games are going to be over quick against a mage. We're just beating it up, right? Because I don't want the overload, because I want to be able to play a feral spirit. <coughs> and that allows me at least to play maybe a Tide Hunter the turn after. Well, we really want the healing totem. It's no good time to play <laughs> those murlocs, so uh, play them now. Awesome. So, one card got two frost bolts out of him. Two fire elementals in my hand, I am feeling very happy. Let's see if my opponent just makes like a water elemental or something this turn. So I can stick the totem between these two, beat it up for six. Ready, sir. Wow. 
So many things to do. So we could put the totem down here. Beat this guy up. I think we just I think we just get the big guy out. To be honest. to beat that up. It protects my 6-5 a bit better there. In case he's got another frost bolt. <laughs> More of those. My shield for Argus. And he just has to play it out. He has nothing else going for him. Remember, kill the loss. I think we can hold back on these for a moment. He has a flame strike. I don't want to lose <laughs> absolutely everything. <laughs> that really doesn't help him. Oh, of course, of course, he gets a mana tie totem. <laughs> yeah, like silencing it actually helps him there, but. I guess we just talk hex it, right? Remember, kill the loss. I guess he's got a top deck of flame strike there. I can't believe you got my mana tied to So lucky. Ready, sir. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, yeah, so I guess we're just beating you up, right? I've got maximum number of minions out, so two, four, five, six, seven. Leave you on one, and then and hopefully try and do something next turn. So I guess uh I guess this one one is going to beat up four seven six. Remember kill to us to North Rend Victory Go <laughs> Pretty good. That is pretty good.
Tazingo. That's yes. not pretty good. <laughs> this one is over. Why didn't you use your 2 2? Oh, what are you doing? Why didn't you use your 2 2 to kill my guy? Well played. Victory! <laughs> that Ragnaros though, getting my mana tight home. Brutal. What did it have like five, six minions, something like that at the time? I mean the hex was nice on me off the top of the deck to deal with it, but I would have just like just made more minions, just gone hit you with six minions, you can only shoot at one of them. This is a rough one. Again, I'm going to keep the fire elemental. That's nice. That's, that, that is a nice draw. Not the 1-1 one, one totem. I'm happy. Please shoot me for two with your steady shot. I will quite happily play a, a, a long game with you. Don't mess with Tusker. Well, if we get the spell power, we get to crush him. Hmm. So, one in three chance of crushing. <laughs> Not good enough. Uh, just make the percentage play, put the body out there. I mean, because we've got some great bodies against Hunters, you know, this is awkward for him to deal with, these are awkward for him to deal with, this is obviously awkward for him to deal with, so... Just make all the bodies, one after the next. You know, he's used his coin. We must cleanse the Sunwell. That's cool. Silvermoon shall not fall. Your turn to bleed. Maybe I should have killed the two two beast instead because it is a beast. And he can buff it up in lots of different ways rather than killing the two three hunter. Might have been a mistake that um, thinking about mm -hmm. it. But at the same time, you know, if he makes a two-three hunter, he can turn it into a three-four. The defender of Argus, Shadows and Cleric. I mean, he's already played Shadows and Cleric, but there's a lot he can do because he's got a beast in play. Like if he makes a Hellmaster here, I just feel foolish. I wonder. But this guy, you know, so awkward for hunters to deal with. You love my new recipe. Awesome, he's gonna regret that one. I guess we we play around a, a snipe, right? Remember, kill for loss. So 
I don't have to play around the snipe anymore. <laughs> Well, I guess I have to fork lightning here, right? Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. He's not happy. <laughs> you can tell he's not happy with whatever he has to do this turn. Not happy at all. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. You insist. To battle! We're getting a, a ton of value out of this flame tongue totem here. I wonder. Very hard for him to get back in the game going second. Awesome. Get that healing totem to save my life here. Desperately trying to heal my guys up. It's having none of it. <laughs> Medic. Medic. Oh. Takes out the flame song finally. Oh, awesome. Like the flame song is also dealing four damage, but it's buffing up the minions on either side, so. He might have been dead there, you know. That's probably a misplay, right? Can't break any more minions. Never get my healing totem. Wanna blow something up? Oh, savage! <laughs> Don't have to apologize. You're still dead. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, well, finally, the random number generator meant that you hit something bad. Because <laughs> he hits the perfect four cards with, you know, with the bomber and the, and the deadly shot. It's like, surely you can't do it again. That would have been ridiculous odds if you'd done that. Wow. Oh yeah, my deck was just um, way more powerful than his. You know, he had like triple silver hand height. So he had like good guys. Um, he just came up against better guys. Really tempted to keep this. So I will. Because I love me some Chillwind Yeti. Um, druids have a hard time dealing with actual power and toughness. You know, they don't have... I mean, they have their equivalent of Hex. Or Polymorph. But that involves me drawing two cards. My greeting. So generally... Um, Greetings, friend. That's not really that great for them to do. <laughs> so I was thinking play the 2 3 turn 2 and maybe coin into the Yeti because, you know, he's that awesome. I don't see the point in coining this out turn 1. He probably kept a hand with like a rat in or something like that. Oh, well. Earthshock's certainly a nice draw there. I think, uh, I think that works okay. Dylan. Means now I can uh, coin turn five into the fire elemental. I'll put it on your tab. Also, just coin into a doom. Ha uh, t taking ten if I do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well, we'll not get too greedy. Feeling pretty confident, despite going second at this point. You know, I've got a good variety of cards that are pretty powerful. Maybe we just make the Doom Hammer. Hoverlow 2 though gives us 4 mana next turn, I don't like that. This guy seems fine. Attend me. Ready, sir.
So if he makes a big guy, we can fire elemental and fork lightning. I think I'm really hoping for this flame tongue totem, just to stick between a couple of feral spirits. Time waits for no one. Speaking of which. So I think next turn just crushes him completely. There's very few things he can do here which um, end up being good for him. I'm going to have five mana, so it's Feral Spirit, Flame Tong Totem. Turn this into a 2-2, beat him up, make, then this will become a 6-4 hmm. once the 2-2's killed, you know, run into whatever he plays. And he's got to get past the two taunters. And that's his entire turn spent, right? you boned. I think you're straight up. Not just boned, but super boned. So the extreme edge of bonitus oh being eyes. super boned. Open. Yeah, you're, you are crushed. Still boned. <laughs> might as well concede. Come on, it's nothing. You might as well run your three twos in. Come on. What you doing? You want to take out the flame tongue totem, don't you, but? But then I hit you for 12 and you die, so you, you can't take out the flame ton totem. You gotta take out this 6 5. So all you can do is take out the 6 5. You have to attack the 6 5, or I'll. No, or the 6 4. But surely the 6 5 has more health. <laughs> a natural mistake. It wasn't, yeah, yeah. It was a mistake. I mean, you didn't know that, but. Elements guide me. Elements guide me. More fun than the lightning bolt. Hitting him with the doom hammer. 
A winner is you. Eight and one. This deck is brutal. This deck is such a beating. <laughs> and I've done surprisingly well to survive this first few turns. You know, I've had quite a few slow opponents. Uh, and that's how I got to eight wins. You know, like the type of decks I tell people to build. You know, fast tempo based decks would crush this deck I'm playing here today. Um, I guess I keep. <laughs> Could maybe throw one of these cards back. What are we against the warrior? Ah, yeah, we'll keep them all. Screw it. <laughs> We're keeping them all because we're going second. Yay! He does nothing! I'm so happy! And obviously the Feral Spirits have Overload. And my 2-4 is too big for his weapon as well. Mm. You can't be happy thinking about Bungo 3-3 three, three out there. Let the pain wow. Speak to me. Super weak. Super weak play. So I did this uh, so that Cleave doesn't kill any of my guys. He's I don't think we're going to need this Mana Tide Totem at any point in this game. We've just got so much to play, you know, there's, like, bad people would go, Oh, look at this, I'm in a situation where I can draw a bunch of cards now. You don't, you don't need to draw any cards. You've got so much stuff to do every turn now. You know, we've survived the early game. We're in a good board position. Blood and plunder. Why, why would you attack the Nort 2? Pretty good. Guess. Do we play the Doom Hammer? Or do we just play the Rock Biter? Play the Spellbreaker. Like, there's just a million things we can do here. I, like, whatever I do, I really want this, uh... Fire Elemental next turn. But I, I guess it can wait a turn, I right? Wonder. Elements guide me. Elements guide me. Ah! 
I mean, the funny thing is, him attacking the 0-2 was, was the best play. In that, I had a rock biter weapon I wanted to pump my 0-2 up with. But we can, we can basically hit him for 10 here. With the doom hammer, if you want to. Hmm. It seems seems pretty good. Unfortunately, this will still only be a four-three. Uh, maybe we can wait a turn on that. I just need to get this fire elemental out. There's, there's no no point screwing around anymore. Be nice if I got the extra three power, but <laughs> it wasn't on my weapon. Wow. Really needs to stop making these cards. <laughs> They're obviously awesome against me. Your magic shall not save you. So I figure, you know, we've got him on the rack here. Just turn the screw. I love, love me some feral spirits. These guys are just ridiculous. I just don't see how he can possibly chew through my side of the board here. I mean, all of these cards are ridiculous. Two Feral Spirits. Was it three Fire Elementals? I lost count. Doom Hammer. Yeah, he's desperately looking for something. Doesn't help you. Doesn't help you cleave there. Doesn't do anything. Four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That works right. Elements guide me. Elements guide me. Bow. <laughs> so it turns out when my opponents don't put any pressure on me, I absolutely destroy them all. Such a ridiculous deck. Dust! God damn it, dust! <laughs> 175 gold! Why? Why? I hate you so much, dust. 
Well, let's get another eight commons to disenchant immediately, right? <laughs> oh, never ever playing Holy Wrath. So there's... Oh, well, I could use a cold blood, but I've probably got two already, right? There's, there's pretty much a wasted pack right there. Let's have, go for wasted pack number two. <laughs> when you open a shield bear as the first card, you know it's bad. Yes. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, no! Llama about is the other one. Oh dear, dear, dear. This, oh, I suck so much at opening packs. Oh, there's so eight commons and one rare. So the only card I didn't have two of was an Alarmo bot. Oh joy, I've got my first Alarmo bot. So I've obviously got my third Holy Wrath. So yeah, so like for all of that effort from those two packs, it's like have 60 dust. <laughs> Puts my dust total to 3,200. Ooh, I can craft a golden legendary, right? I can, I can impress everyone with a, a golden Yuzera. <laughs> I mean, Yuzera is definitely, I think, the best of all the legendaries. You play it, they kill it on the next turn, but you draw on a replacement card, which is ridiculously powerful. Anyway guys, thanks for checking this video out. Um, I'm pretty sure you all liked me smashing people's faces in. <laughs> so please, do me a little favour, click the like button. Um, leave a comment if you think I could have done something different on a particular turn. It's always interesting to hear sort of different lines, even though I don't always reply to comments. I do read every single comment that gets posted. And uh, until next time, ta-da!